Are each year in the few short weeks surrounding the holidays, Christmas trees become the fuel that leads to hundreds of fires, and some of them fatal. This morning, a holiday warning from our consumer correspondent, Greg Hunter, who spoke with one father who learned a heartbreaking holiday lesson all too late. I just try to save my kids. That's it. And it didn't work. And in a matter of seconds, um, I, I, I lost my, my family. The Morales family portraits, taken just before last Christmas. They are the last photographs of four-year-old Savannah and her 18-month-old little brother, Tony Jr. Every year, fire departments demonstrate the dangers of Christmas trees, but don't take their word for it. Listen to what happened to the Morales family. It started with a small candle knocked over near the Christmas tree in their New York apartment. At first, Tony couldn't understand why his wife was yelling. And she goes, oh my God, Tony. I go, what, what? She goes, look, 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 fire. I went, what? And it was right on my face. It was just right on my face. Tony tried to put the fire out with water from the kitchen. His wife, Lily, and the children got trapped in a back bedroom. Windows locked, fire between them and the only way out. The mother covered her children with her body, trying to keep away the flames. She was uh, pretty severely burned, but she protected the children, but the smoke overcame them. The children died of smoke inhalation, surrounded by their unopened presence. Tony and Lily were both severely injured, but survived. It was two days before Christmas. After the fire, New York Mayor Rudolph Giuliani repeated the warning everyone has heard before. Be careful with the candles. Be careful with the Christmas trees. Christmas trees, after a short while, start to get very, very, uh, very, very brittle. They can go up like that. The government reports Christmas trees are involved in 400 fires each year, causing 20 deaths, 70 injuries, and millions in property damage. Candles cause another 11,000 fires a year. This is what was left of the Morales Christmas tree. Christmas is a time for family. Christmas is one of the most beautiful times a family could ever have together. And now? For me, Christmas, <laughs> there is no Christmas. And Greg Hunter is uh, joining us. There's nothing more beautiful and there's nothing more dangerous than a Christmas tree. You got it. You have some tips about all this. Uh, first of all, buy a fresh tree. We have a sprig here in the studio, and this is an example of what a fresh tree is not. If you look right here, we'll hold it up, and for the, li for the needles to come off like this, they're not very sticky. You can see they don't stick on the branches very well. This isn't so hot. If you run into a tree like this, you should move on. These things should be really hard to pull off, and they should be really sticky and gummy, and this has been sitting out for a while. So buy a fresh tree because a fresh tree is bad fuel. It's uh, full of water. Mm. The 